man exciting day today it's the first video that i'm putting up for you freaks and it's a review of this this is the nomad it is by battle horse knives and if battle horse knives sounds familiar to you it is because they are the successor to blind horse knives blind horse knives they've been making excellent uh bush knives and and tools uh for years uh, they since separated into two different companies and battle horse knives is one of them and this is their knife the nomad taking a look at it it is nine and a half inches tip to tail and it's got a four and a half inch cutting edge it's 01 tool steel the scales are resitin i mean they'll last a long time uh, it's a little smoother than say uh like a canvas micarta but it, it feels really nice in the hand and they've shaped it to the to the uh, shape the blade really nicely it's of course a, a full tang it is riveted in place uh, I'm sure you could change it if you really needed to or wanted to it's just not going to be as easy as you know screwing uh, screwing on and off uh, be just a little bit more involved uh, it does have a bow drill divot uh, here if you want to see that bow drill divot uh, I'm sure it works just fine. I have not used this particular bow drill divot, but I have used the one on the EC5, and they're identical. And put them next to each other, you won't be able to tell the difference on the bow drill. Uh, the shape of it, it's a little interesting. Uh, the shape, it, it's a little cleavery looking, and it works great as a cleaver, believe you me. Um, it'll go through a chicken bone uh, just fine. Uh, you're, you're doing some rabbits up and you're breaking them down, uh, fabricating your, your, your rabbit out for a stew. This will do great in the field. Um, the, uh, the, this thick meaty part right here is excellent to grab onto if you're doing some fine carving uh, with the tip. Uh, just like you know chefs across the country in, in the back of the kitchens, they're pulling out their chef knife. That's how we hold them and uh that meat right there to grab is fantastic also right out of the box the sheath is fabulous <laughs> it's kydex and leather combo which is kind of neat um and it's uh it's screwed on there uh the back so if you wanted to unscrew it and take it off you could probably put some molly clips on it or or whatever if you're not near this belt carry um the kydex is well done uh, it's got a good mold on it. it retains the knife excellent you could uh you could probably carry it upside down just fine um it does have this uh little caddy uh right here for fire steel if you wanted to uh carry a fire steel and i believe that's standard um so you you know it's a little extra but uh you know the little things they go a long way when they're free right um uh, overall uh good value you know sometimes you get a sheath from a company and uh or you don't get one at all and uh a lot of times the sheaths uh you get with a knife are just complete bullshit and you got to throw them out and make your own or uh find a aftermarket uh not the case with this uh they, they do a good job with the sheaths over there at battle horse uh, I haven't touched up this blade at all and I've been messing with this like quite a bit and it's retained its edge really nicely uh, again no touching up no stropping ha hasn't touched the steel at all um, and it's you know feathering sticks just just fine uh, if I'm getting that in there uh, and it's this thing's meant to carve wood man it, it'll just carve right through it no problem I'm not trying to do my best feather stick or, or anything like that. I'm not going to be using that tonight. So I'm not trying to win any awards carving. Um, the steel itself, it's pretty thick. I believe it's 5 30 seconds thick, which, you know, for in the kitchen every day it would be kind of, you know, a little clumsy or clunky you know if you're cutting vegetables or, or something like that but you know if you're out in the field and you you're just cutting up uh, rough cutting up vegetables or whatever for stew uh, 
you know, breaking down a, a, a rabbit or some chicken or something like that. Uh, this works fine. It works fine. Um, it's not, uh, the blade width is not as thick as some uh, uh, bush knives that you find out there that, you know, are for batoning or, or whatever. It's not really like trying to cut a potato with an axe, um, but it's, um, again, I'm not replacing my kitchen knives with this, but when you're out camping, it will get the job done and you won't be pulling your hair out over it. Um, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison, I'll pull out some uh, uh, common knives. So, I mentioned the EC5 before, and here's the EC5 next to each other. So, as you can tell, the uh, the blind horse uh, or battle horse, rather, Nomad, it's a little bit uh, smaller than the EC5. Um, if you look, the blade steel in it itself is much thinner um, the EC5 is pretty beasty uh, you know if you're trying to do uh, you know kitchen work with the EC5 you can do it don't write me in telling me I skinned a rabbit with my EC5 and I cut up lots of carrots with it I'm sure you can I'm just saying it's it's not really the right tool for that um, this is uh, a lot a lot beefier and you can tell when you you're holding it in your hand it's really thick I mean this is bridging the gap between a knife and an axe um, this knife here it'll baton just fine but because it's 01 tool steel this is 1095 you're getting a little bit of a, a, a thinner uh, a knife on it so it's a little bit less weighty it's a little bit more of an all-around knife uh, than the EC5 in my humble opinion it is a little more versatile than this just because it is a little smaller um, but they're both great knives I'm not bashing easy I love them um, I'm just giving you guys some some size comparisons here's the the Azula uh, and see I love EC they have a ton of ECs and the three so for me the Nomad it kind of um, it kind of goes into this category of it's it's kind of in between like an EC3 a little bit heftier than 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 an EC3 and a little bit you know lighter than the the EC5 and I know EC makes an EC4 and a laser strike and and all of that stuff but it's it's kind of like an in between uh, knife very versatile in my opinion in fact the uh, the this nomad is going to be uh, my like everyday you know bush carry knife and uh, I'll give you guys an update too you know like this summer uh, and this winter when I go hunting and, and, and camping I'll let you know how this how this does I haven't put in, in a ton of mileage on this because uh, not much is in season to go hunting and uh, but I, I will be going out and uh, I will let you know how this holds up to the elements. Um, here's a Mora. I know a lot of people you might not have an EC, but you might have a Mora laying around for size comparisons. Obviously, the Mora is a lot lighter and a lot smaller. But uh, so, like, this might be a little easier in the kitchen than, than that guy. But overall, I give it two thumbs up. This is a good knife, man. Um, I think it's about 190 bucks, which is not cheap. Um, so, you know, uh, it's a lot of money for a knife, but you get you get your money's worth, I think. You know, between the sheath and uh, the feel of this, this is easily like one of the better knives uh, out there that I've I've gotten uh, to to review. Uh, it feels really good. I I, I have to say. For $190, this is feeling like a more expensive knife, to be honest with you. Um, I would say that, you know, if, if they charge $250 for this, it'd probably be worth it, you know. Um, if that, that says anything. I mean, Blind Horse Knives has been making great knives for a long time. And Battle Horse Knives, they're making great knives in the in the same tradition up to the same specifications and, and quality control 
Um, you can't go wrong. If 190 is a little too expensive for you, you know, give one of their other knives a try. They have smaller knives on there, knives for, uh, I, I think they, they even have a tactical knife uh, available. And they have bush crafting knives and they have uh, hunting specific knives, I, I believe, on their website now uh, that you can buy ready made. Um, and you can kind of, again, custom out their knives a little bit. Uh, you can get uh, different grinds on them. This is the Scandi. They have a flat grind, saber grind. Um, they have different handle options. Um, so in about three weeks, for a really like factory knife price, you get a custom product, which I'm a big fan of, man. You can't go wrong with it. I'm a, I'm a fan of it. So my final... Uh, my final uh, word on the uh, Battle Horse Knife Nomad is two thumbs up. Uh, I'm a big fan. I'll be carrying this with me for a while. So if, you, if you're a fan of the blog and uh, you like what I do there, you'll be seeing this uh, uh, often. All right, folks. That's it. I'm out of here. Live wild. Eat well.